Hi, in this Blender tutorial, I'll demonstrate you that how we can create a fairly easy watercolor material. So let's get into it. Here, I created a simple scene which have a monkey, a camera and a sun lamp. To create our material, go to the shading mode. Now change object mode to the world. Here, add a image texture. And if you enable not wrangler, press Ctrl T and connect window to vector and add a color ramp also. Now change this image to a paper image texture and crank it up like this. And this value depends on your image, so it will vary. And now add a mix RGB here and add a light path. And add is camera ray to the factor and make it down here and make it black so our world is almost ready copy these four nodes Control C go to the object mode select our monkey and create a new material and delete this BSDF and paste it paste the texture here we use it later now add a diffuse bsdf add a shader to rgb and add a color ramp okay move this slider like this here select it here add another one and make it darker like this you can fine tune it according to your need so i'm not going that much deeper i add a mix rgb make it to multiply add a image texture and connect it like this and add an image like this so we can have our colors like this and duplicate this and add a warnoid texture and make it f1 to smooth f1 and connect color to the color now this will have our little different color shader and the scale value is up to you how much color you need so just do it and move it like and move and move it all these nodes here now mix it with a mix shader also and move it like this and change the value to about 0.995 okay now we don't have our shadow highlights to create that, add a fennel node and duplicate it. Change then both values to 0.9 or up to you. And add a mix RGB. Add another mix RGB like this and set it to multiply. And uh, it connected this to its factor okay this is our shadow highlights here and you can see that our material is almost ready you can change color by moving this to here to here and change transparency like this so that's for all my name is Harish Lohar and with this material you can create some really interesting results like 